pew 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 Nailed it. Hello, Cliff here with Captain Crash Gaming, bringing you some more of the amazing game, Callisto Protocol. Now, I already have a video leading up to this point. If you missed the first part, go back and watch that as we continue on in our playthrough of this scary, creepy game, trying to figure out exactly what is going on. Uh, now this is pretty much where we left off the last time. Uh, there is a little recording for Captain Ferris sitting on the table. You saw me just grab it just now, and you can give that a listen if you really want to. Outside the gatehouse, site secured as per warden's orders. Access restricted to Mahler's team only. Never thought I'd miss the old warden. At least she was by the book. Uh, but after that, we're going to go ahead and keep on going all the way down into these uh, spooky caverns that are going on down here. Uh, you can see a little picture of yourself on that thing right there. And then we're going to continue on through here. Now this is going to give us a little, like, chapter, chat mark, aftermath. This is the uh, second chapter of the game. Uh, now we're just going to keep going down here. You'll find bodies and all sorts of... There's like a div broken robot going on right here. And now prepare to get spooked. Oh, he got me. Now there are a lot of... Uh, like scares like that where they try to uh, come out of nowhere and get you. Uh, but this time I know he's coming, so I'm able to take him out. Little fast monster demon guy. Oh, I got my cheating float like a butterfly. Perfect dodge. Nice. Um, anyways, after that guy, we're going to continue on down the road um, and, and squeeze between these two little things in the wall. After that little spooky interaction, don't forget to check all of these little things. Get some credits, get some health, uh, get everything that you possibly can. Uh, look around, try and find. Uh, I got full health now, and continue along through. This will come in handy, though. Take that over to the Reforge. You can use it to print a new weapon. That'll give me a minute to tap into the system. So what he just did was he gave us like a piece of a handgun and what we need to do is go over to a machine that'll allow us to like upgrade it. Um, there's this little machine right here and this is the uh, this game's like upgrade trees. Um, now you have things that you can sell like these energy converters to get more money because all it does is cost credits to uh, upgrade these um, like this one here for your uh, this is just the basic get the hand cannon and we're gonna go ahead and um, open up the box to the Function right of us available. once I realize why I can't get it is we don't have enough credits but this little box to the right of us not not that anyways yeah right there this little box and what that's gonna do is give you enough nice. credits to buy the first upgrade for the hand cannon it also gives you a health injector and some ammo which is pretty nice um, but you go over here to this thing, and we can go ahead and buy the first upgrade. It's going to, like, get 3D printed. We'll get an achievement. It's pretty dope. Okay, got it. If we're going to get out of here, we need a ship. One that you can fly. Now, I found an inmate with the skills to hack the network and call one down from orbit. Bad news is they're in the shoe. Maximum security. It'll be fucking tough getting in there. Cool bothering you? Yeah, ever since I got it. Yeah, they can scramble your brains a little bit. Don't worry, you get used to it. Yeah, you sure know a lot about this place. 
Yeah, I've had nothing but time. Okay, so what's next? The shoe? Can we just waltz our way in there? No, I wish we could. It's not gonna be that easy, bro. Look, I've been here a long time. I've got privileges that you don't. So I'm gonna have to take you a different way. But I'll be your eyes and ears and I'll guide you along. All right, don't you leave me hanging. I got you. Unless you know I'm a pilot. No, I'm afraid not. Right, I'll get that door for you. And once you're done with that, you'll get a little guide on how you can hit him a few times and then pull your gun out and do a quick shot. And we're going to be trying to do that a little bit later. There's our little introduction to the next bad guy. And uh, now I'm going to test out the gun. Apparently, if you shoot off their heads, they don't die. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. But after we kill that guy, we're going to continue on. Uh, down the hallways as we're going along until we find that bad guy that just ran away from us basically is what we're looking for right now so we're gonna take this elevator up we're gonna check our ammo make sure we're good to go and continue on through this door here and then now we're going to uh, fight this guy do, do, do. Um, so what I did find out and I will go over this a little bit later is the gun is actually way more effective as doing it as a quick draw during a combat thing it kind of you have to shoot them a lot to kill these bad guys. Um, so I like to save my ammo for that. But here's the new bad guy, and he likes to spit stuff at you. So watch out for that. There you have it. That was the uh, that new bad guy. He like spit stuff at you. He's a little bit harder to kill. You also saw me kind of trying out the uh, the quick draw, hitting him, and then like the blue target came up. I think I got a hold of it now. Uh, you stop attacking, and then you know, you can pull out the gun and shoot him. It seems to be pretty effective. And later on, I find it a little bit more effective against the uh, the smaller bad guys, not the ones that like spit at you. Like he's that guy's a little bit beefier. But. But as we come along into this area, we're going to turn left, there'll be a broken robot, and also a bunch of these zombie guys. Now, it, it tries to tell you you can sneak around them, uh, but sneaking around them is impossible. Like, they just kind of shamble right on towards you. I wasn't able to figure it out. I gave it a couple tries. Uh, yeah, if you're better at sneaking than I am, maybe. I, I don't know. Uh, but eventually, they'll just uh, all come after you. Uh, and just remember to dodge, dip, dive, duck, and dodge as you take on these two guys. And then watch as this guy gets confused and just keeps jumping over a le lever over and over again. Oh no, he got me! Oh, my eyes! Um, yeah, but, um, if he kills you like he killed me, then just do it all over again, I suppose. Uh, yeah, just fight these three guys, and hopefully this time he doesn't gouge out your eyeballs like he did to me. Uh, I seem to be getting a little bit of a hold of the dodging mechanic in this game. So there we have it. We got those two guys. And we're going to continue on uh, into the next room here. Now I spent quite a bit of time looking in this room. There's nothing here, so don't spend as much time as I did looking around. I sped it up a little bit because I was a little dumb and went in there a lot. We're going to come to the store. It's going to say access denied. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to check all the dead bodies. And uh, from here and now on, any guard bodies, you can get like credentials off of them. And they will help you get through doors later on in the game. And once you uh, find one of them, uh, you'll like rip out their implant. And you, oh, here we go, here's one. Use your shift to dig out their implant. Wait, what? You don't have a choice. It's the only way through that door. <sighs> What a mess. Do what you gotta do in here. This place is a way of changing you. And uh, yeah, once you have it, you'll be able to uh, go through the locked door that we were just at that was like, oh, you're all locked out. Uh, so now we can continue on through that. And you'll come into this super creepy room. It's mega creepy. Oh, 
And once you're done killing that guy, uh, you can just keep on going down through this door. You can either go left or you can go right. I don't know which way we uh, need to go, so I went right. And uh, we're going to go look at what's over here. If you look on the ground, it says Sixers for some reason in blood. Not creepy. Not creepy at all. But we're going to just continue on this way. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a bunch of credits in a box. Oh, and here's one of those uh, guys uh, with the like ID cards to get through doors. We'll probably need that later. There's a chest with some ammo. Nice. And what I figured out is these little glass windows here, you can uh, break those and grab the credits that are within, or the health in this case. Um, and there's some ammo, but I have full ammo, which is pretty cool. So uh, what we're, we're going to do is we're going to end up going back this way. And... We're uh, basically going to just have to go back across to the other way. Instead, we went right that time. Instead, we need to go uh, left down this way. More guys just scaring you, coming out through the glass and such. Um, I'm going to continue to just move along after being scared to death, and uh, we're going to progress through this little door here and pry it right on open. I'm in medical. Keep going to the back exit. I'll contact you there. Don't forget to grab this guy's uh, chip on the back of his head, and don't forget to grab this chest right here. <laughs> that one definitely got me. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to progress along the way here, and we're going to get one of those gloves that like the guy was using to like force push us around and stuff. It's going to be kind of cool. I found one of those gloves that Captain Ferris had. That's a grip. Oh, the guards are not to use it on us inmates. Yeah, I remember. But it's good. It works on all sorts of things to do. Go on, give it a go. Will do. Alright, now that we have that, we'll be able to grab objects and, like, throw them around like we have force powers. It's pretty cool. All right, we got that cool little animation that makes it kind of looks like they were uh, experimenting on people and then it went wrong is kind of what I'm getting. I don't really know anything about what's going on in the store. I'm just as lost as this guy. And uh, this is where it's trying to get us to uh, use the grip to push this guy. It doesn't seem to be the most useful of things, but it is kind of cool. And, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just kill this guy. And then interestingly, uh, this guy's like fat. Uh, he's kind of cool too. And we're going to kill him. And then we're going to progress up to this door. And what you're going to notice on this door is that it has one of those needs a fuse thing. Um, so when you go to it, you'll pull out like the old fuse, but you won't have one to put in it. So we have to run around to the other side of the room. And uh, one thing I noticed is actually you'll see me die here, but over here we grab this one, and then uh, these guys will appear um, out of the out of nowhere. Uh, yep, there they are, killing me. And uh, there's three of them. And actually, if before you go and fight the dudes at the door, and it gives you the grip thing, you grab the fuse. You can ignore fighting those guys. So that's exactly what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna grab the fuse. Then run over here, and uh, we're going to see this thing again, and then we're going to go get the uh, this guy over here. So now when we don't, we don't have to go back, we don't have to fight those three guys, uh, which is just awesome. But uh, once you kill these guys again, uh, the fat guy and this other dude, um, we're going to go ahead and put the fuse inside of that door. And uh, just keep on progressing the way that we were going to uh, before we got so rudely interrupted. First, a quick heal. Find some uh, credits from these guys. Yes, some credits from those guys. Don't go back over there so that I don't have to fight those three other dudes. And we're going to progress on through this way here. Um, you'll find a 
battery pack for the grip, the GRP, which is that thing that, uh, you know, you can force grab people and throw them around like uh, rag dolls, uh, which is pretty cool. And then we're going to continue on in, in here. Now in here, you're going to find a series of lockers. One of them is going to have this little like baby rib cage monster that you're going to have to shank. Um, and the other ones have health packs, ammo, uh, credits, that kind of thing. And uh, then there's going to be a place over here where you can upgrade your weapons. You're next. That's what that says. Um, and then that's where we're going to end this video for today on the second part of our playthrough of Callisto Protocol. I am going to buy one of these upgrades. But uh, if you enjoyed this video at all, please hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want to watch more Callisto Protocol. I also play uh, some Pokemon and some Destiny 2. I have guides and playthroughs for all of those. Go ahead and check those out. Also, go ahead and check out the uh, previous part one of this video. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.